Why am I here? What are my compelling reasons? Am I here just because, you know, wow, everybody else seems to be doing it? No. Com what are your compelling reasons? List them down. Sit down. Commit to paper your compelling reasons and your burning desires. Write it down. There's a saying that goes, write it down on tablets. The Bible says, write your visions down on tablets. Remember, a vision not committed into writing is just wishful thinking. Okay? Sit down. That's why I say it doesn't happen in one sitting. It's a process. And, and over the months, over the years, it'll probably change. It'll probably change. <laughs> There's one uh, customer in the Philippines. And uh, she was saying, before, if I would, when I would earn $800 a week, I'd be like, wow. I mean, this is it. And then when it hit 2000 a week, she was freaking out. And then at 4000 a week, she thought she was on top of the world. And then she's hitting 10, 12, you know, 13. In fact, the last time I was there, somebody was telling me, you know, Chip, this girl, you know, she, she took her check, threw it away. Oh, it's only 8000 <laughs> Many, many times your visions change, your goals change. So you have to be willing to sit down and, you know, change them again. And hope it's to, to make them higher. If you drive yourself properly and have the proper work ethic, uh, it, it might probably hire. Once your vision uh, is firmly established in your heart, it's now time to set them into goals. Okay, we've talked about all the nice stuff, but now this is where the action begins. <laughs> okay, remember, we're talking about foundational work. We're talking about getting a, the head start in this business. And your best foundation is you. Don't you dare start, you know, the task of leading others until you've built a uh, foundation in you. So set goals, okay? The visions, okay, are what is now broken down and made into goals, okay? So when you set your goals, okay, if I want to earn, let's say you go, I want to earn $10,000 a week. That's your vision. Okay, how am I going to do this? To earn 10000 a week, I need this kind of organization. I need this many steps a day, this many cycles. What kind of organization do I need? How many leaders do I need? Don't talk about volume. Don't talk about sales. One hint. It's not here. It's not you know, on the program. But let me tell you, if you want to, if you want to build income, if you want to build you know, your dream income, don't think sales. Don't think volume. Think leadership base. Think leadership base. If I want to earn $1,000 a week, how many leaders do I have to have? If I want to earn $5,000 a week, what does my leadership base look like? If I want to earn $10,000 a week, what does my leadership base have to look like? The volume, the income, is just a byproduct of the leaders. That's basically what it is. Now, we've talked about several aspects, but we have to... Uh, on how to get the business set up properly, number one, getting educated, setting up your own office, establishing your goals uh, through vision. Now we shall go into the final part. Okay, and some of you are going, ah. Okay. Final part of your foundation. Okay. You must submit yourself to a leader and get trained. And I use the word submit. Okay. You have to go to someone Okay, submit yourself to him and get yourself trained. Okay, training will teach you how to achieve the goals and realize your dreams. Okay, we've talked about the dreams, we've talked about the goals. Now you have to get yourself trained, okay, so that you know how, specifically, what do I have to do. Okay, I know I have to make a good presentation, right, but okay, specifically, what makes an effective presentation? Yes, I know that I, uh, what they call this, have to know how to answer objections. Okay, specifically, what are these objections? You see what I'm saying? That's what training is going to do for you. Okay, it's going to help you identify. Okay, and then finally learn how to do it. This business can be a lot of fun and be very fulfilling, both emotionally and, of course, financially, if you know how to do it right. Okay, I wanted this in red, underlined, and three exclamation points. <laughs> okay, if you know how to do it right. I want to stress that. However, on the other hand, if you don't know what you're doing, 
and many people don't. <laughs> the whole experience can be likened to banging your head against the wall. <laughs> Correct? How many have done this business unsuccessfully for a while first, before they realize that they have to get trained? How many started that way? Isn't it frustrating? Isn't it the most frustrating thing to do, to know that you want to do something and you can't? It's like banging your head against the wall. Now let me tell you, you can be intelligent, you can be successful, you can be influential, you can be wealthy, but if you don't know how to do this business properly, I guarantee you, you will fail. I know many, many people that have come into this business. Oh yeah, I am the chief executive president, you know, director's chief of staff of the board is the chairman and you know, I am, I am it. You're lucky to have me in your organization. <laughs> I mean, there are people like that. Training program, me. <laughs> me attend the training program. Hey, I do the training in my organization. <laughs> if you don't know how to do this business, right? you know what I tell people like this? Fine, sir, I'm sure you're intelligent. I'm sure you're an expert in your business. But in this business, you know, diddly squat. Sometimes that's what it takes. You just have to sit them down and say, fine, you may be a great lawyer. <laughs> but you don't know anything about this business. If you want to succeed, sit down, get training. If you're not willing to get trained, here's your draft. I don't want it. I don't care who you are. Here, I don't look for people that are qualified, influential. No. I look for people that are hungry. I look for people that have compelling reasons. I look for people that have burning desires and they say, Joe, these are it. Show me what I have to do and what I have to learn to achieve it. Those are the kind of people you want to work with. Those are the kind of people. I'd rather have two of those. I'd rather have two of those than 10 chiefs of industries who refuse to submit themselves to training. I'd rather have two that'll say, Joe, you tell me what I have to do. I don't care, whatever it takes, I wanna achieve this goal. All you need are two or three people like that. Admit the fact that you don't know everything about the business and get training. How do you get training? Attend seminars, okay? Not, don't limit yourself to it. Like I said, there's a wealth of knowledge outside. Hang around with your leaders. Pump them for information. Hey, I heard you had a successful meeting last week. You know, what happened? What did you do? Hey, I heard you're, you, know, you have a really big group that's moving really, really well. Why? What did, you, what did you do to motivate them? What did you do? Hang around. What do they do? Why are these people successful? Wouldn't you want to find out why Ranjit is where he is? Why Mama Disa has a network and Tony Kong and, 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 and uh, Peter Ng and, and Patman? Don't you want to find out, Patrick, how do you build your network? Hang around your leaders, pump them for information. If you had, many of you are embarrassed, right? Oh yeah, but you know, he might say I'm being too overbearing and blah, blah, blah. If you had somebody in, organization, in your organization under you who's hungry for learning, are you going to get turned off with this guy? Why not? Because you, you wish you had 20 more like him. You know what I'm saying? People who are, hey, Joe, teach me some more. Hey, I heard you're doing a, a, a business presentation. I don't, I'm not going to bring anyone, but can I go? I just want to pick up on some energy. I just want to learn some, some techniques. Go up. Master these three skills in training. You only need three basic skills. You have to know how to present the business effectively. If you want to succeed in this business, you must know how to present. There's two ways to present, effectively and ineffectively. Okay, you have to learn how to present the business effectively. Okay, number two, how to answer objections. You have to know how to answer objections. I know it's, it's uh, how to, intimidating at times, okay? Especially if you don't set up the appointment properly, which we'll get into tomorrow in more detail, okay? But really, once you learn how to answer objections, isn't it easy? And number three, how to build your organization through support and training. Those are the only three skills that you need to really make it big in this business. You don't need an MBA graduate degree. You don't need a, 
you know, whatever, a PhD course, doctorate. No, you don't need that. You just have to master these three basic skills. Now, of course, these three basic skills, you know, have, uh, have, have components.